Top 10 Most Expensive Things Owned by Queen Elizabeth II of Great Britain Queen Elizabeth II was on the throne longer than any monarch. Elizabeth Windsor managed to amass an impressive collection of royal artifacts, but her possessions turn out to be far more extensive. Much of the Queen's properties date back to the time of the oldest generations of the royal family. And while a major percentage of these possessions comprise valuable land and buildings, you might be surprised to learn about some of the Queen's interesting and much less well-known assets. 10. All Dolphins in the United Kingdom In 1324, King Edward II made it known that the King will have the wrecks of the seas throughout the Kingdom, the whales and sturgeons in the sea are elsewhere in the Kingdom, except for certain places privileged by the King. In other words, the monarch will own all the dolphins in the UK. Amazingly, this is still true today. Not only does the Queen own the whales and dolphins, but she is also proud owner of any animals with which they are related. 1. Six Royal Residences It is almost impossible to estimate the value of the royal residences held by Elizabeth. There are six in total, including Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, Holyrood Palace, Balmoral Castle, Sandringham Estate and Hillsborough Castle. Holyrood is the Scottish residence of the Queen, while Sandringham is the holiday home and Hillsborough the Irish residence. 8. All the gold mines in Scotland. Some things the Queen owns are so unusual for the general public that they seem almost unmanageable. Among them is the crown right at all the gold mines in Scotland. Exploiting them could bring the Queen and her descendants more than $300 million, as some specialists estimate. 7. A colony of bats. Sources close to the royal family claim that one of Queen Elizabeth's favorite things is a bat colony that has settled in the main hall of Balmoral Castle. Winged creatures settled in the main lobby of the Aberdeenshire estate, but instead of leaving it in the care of servants to resolve the situation, Elizabeth was actively involved. Apparently, he liked to catch bats in a butterfly-like way. While the employees of the royal house regularly capture and release the bats from the castle, they have been instructed to keep the windows open so that the bats can re-enter the estate, this to ensure amusement for the queen. 6. Continental Shelf of the United Kingdom. A valuable natural resource valued at several billion dollars in the crude oil alone that Queen Elizabeth II owns as the Continental Shelf of the United Kingdom. The Crown holds the exploitation rights in these waters, which include the English Channel, the Irish Sea, the North Atlantic and the North Sea. Experts explain that in addition to crude oil deposits there is also extremely valuable natural gas. Again, this is an interesting and somewhat rare case of property governing maritime space. While the land itself has been part of crown ownership for generations, drilling rights are a relatively new and incredibly profitable addition to the royal portfolio. 5. Tower of London. Queen Elizabeth II is the rightful holder of the Tower of London, estimated at around $56 billion due to her position on the throne. From a technical point of view, it belongs to anyone who has the crown, so that upon its death, the building will become the property of the next monarch. In addition to its symbolic status, the tower also has immense historical significance. It once housed the jewels of the Crown of England and was then used as a royal residence by the Tudors. The tower was converted into a prison during both world wars before being restored. 4. A tiara with 1333 diamonds. With over 1333 diamonds, the famous tiara was made at a cost of $8,216.1820 by the House Rundle and Bridge. George IV had tasked the designers with making this brilliant jewelry. While George wore it himself, he became more famous as one of Queen Victoria's pieces. Queen Elizabeth II wore it as part of the coronation ceremony in 1953. Worth about $700,000, adjusted for inflation as one of the most expensive jewelry in the Queen's entire large collection. The tiara became almost synonymous with Elizabeth, wearing it on the stamps and banknotes used in all territories of the Commonwealth. 3. Swans on the Thames. While the Queen was born in 1926, her right to own all the swans floating on the River Thames dates back to the 15th century. In fact, His Majesty actually owns all the unclaimed silent swans on any water in England and Wales. The Queen is only worried about those on the Thames. At the end of the last count, there were 437 royal white swans on the expanse of the water. 2. 150,000 works of art. 
King Carol I began to collect art for the first time in the 17th century. As each new sovereign came to the throne, the collection passed them into ownership. It contains over 150,000 pieces, some by the most famous painters in history, such as Raphael and Rembrandt. In 2012, Elizabeth received several works to add to her collection to celebrate her 60th anniversary as monarch of England. This transaction hit securities around the world as it added even more value to the $10 billion collection. Colloquially known as the Royal Collection, this incredible gallery includes original works through the ages, including pieces by Peter Paul Rubens, Fans Hals, Leonardo da Vinci and Rembrandt. 1. Six Royal Residences. It is almost impossible to estimate the value of the Royal Residences held by Elizabeth. There are six in total, including Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, Holyrood Palace, Balmoral Castle, Sandringham Estate and Hillsborough Castle. Holyrood is the Scottish residence of the Queen, while while Sandringham is the holiday home and Hillsborough the Irish residence. If this material has piqued your interest, I invite you to like and subscribe to this channel. All the best.